So in our last episode of My Player, we ended our second season with Manchester United. We won the FA Cup, which was fantastic. That was our second trophy of the season. How we did draw against Norwich on the final day of the Premier League, slipping up massively at the end of the season and watching Chelsea grab the title from our hands. So we did win a domestic double last season, but one thing I was really looking forward to was playing in the European Championships, but sadly that never actually happened. I was really frustrated about this. I was called up for the England squad as you guys new there were fixtures in my calendar you saw the group table get drawn as well but for some reason in my mini schedule no games appeared and we didn't even get to simulate them we just sort of went past them as if they weren't even there so that was really annoying that was really annoying because I was so excited to play my first national tournament in player career mode but for some reason despite getting selected for the team I don't know maybe I missed my flight or something and like they couldn't find me a new one it was just ridiculous man like seriously I was really really excited to play in the European Championships, yet for some reason it wasn't there. Either way, we matched all of our season objectives, which was great as we officially end the season. And uh, as you can see as well, I did win Player of the Year as well in the Premier League for last season. Now that's fantastic. I mean, don't get me wrong, I had a great season, but I didn't expect to win Player of the Year. I guess I should have done, really, considering my stats were just off the chain. Uh, still, did I just say off the chain? I did. Um, anyway, there's a look at the, uh, the European Championship anyway, the trees. You can see who actually won. It was France on penalties. That's why England should have taken me man seriously I would have gotten to the final no doubt but uh, still let's look at my stats and my attributes going into the new season 87 rated attacking midfielder feeling really really good right now 67% overall progress as well if you're wondering how the um the, uh, the, uh, the accomplishments are getting on, uh, sorry not the accomplishments, the sponsorships even, here's a quick look at them, basically we've achieved all of these as you guys would have known by now, uh, uh, hence why we've been wearing their boots, uh, going to start wearing Adidas boots as well for the new season too as I haven't worn those yet, as for Under Armour and Nike as you can see right now, Under Armour I'm just missing one uh, objective, that's a minimum of 10 international appearances, as for Nike still missing quite a few, but I should hit those three at the top right there pretty soon I'd say, as I'm only a few off of all of them. But uh, yeah, Under Armour only need, uh, I think it's four international games, international appearances now. So I'd have played in that European Championships, I probably would have got that by now. But uh, even so, hopefully during the season I'll get that and I'll be able to start wearing Under Armour boots in our third season and possibly final season as well. We'll talk about that in the future. But uh, still, I requested a transfer at Manchester United as I was going to do. Uh, it took a while to go back and forth, so I just sped it up really and just uh, deleted the footage and eventually just showed you the, uh, the email I got for eventually getting an, uh, an offer accepted and there were five teams that are interested in taking me to their club which isn't a real surprise considering my season last year now obviously I did this last season with uh, you know my first season being with Burnley then I requested a transfer and let you guys decide on the new team or to stay at the old team if you wanted and as you can see the teams were Atletico Madrid of Spain uh, Barcelona of Spain uh, Real Madrid of Spain is a pattern here and there was also uh, Bayern Munich and Juventus as well or Juventus and Bayern I should say as that's the order they come in. So five teams wanted to take me to their club. Not a real surprise. And I did mention on Twitter, it's a real shame. But transfer offers in player career mode are so... There's just not, you know, there's not enough real like variety, I guess. I mean, I I, I played this like I, I played this mini sort of simulation, if you will, just going back and forth between save files for about an hour or even possibly an hour and a half. You know, maybe even stretching two hours. Thinking about it, this happened a few nights ago. But I just I couldn't get any other offers than these uh, five teams. Which don't get me wrong, you know, five new clubs to choose between does give you some choice there. Three Spanish ones, a German and an Italian one as well. But even so, I was expecting more choice. And hopefully next season they give you more choice as well. I did briefly mention it would be great if you had like an agent who could sort you out deals and uh, new clubs that are interested. But anyway, I'm um, digressing here. I threw, out it on, I threw it out to you guys on Twitter and I said, who should I sign for in my player or of course stay at Manchester United? As you can see, there were uh, six teams available, uh, five new ones, all stay at Manchester United. And it was Barcelona who won the poll. So thank you to everyone for voting. A reminder, that's why you should follow me on Twitter at DocLanders. Thank you to everyone for voting in the poll. Over a thousand of you got involved. Really really appreciate that and it was Barcelona who won the poll so we've moved clubs for the second time to start our third season we're a new club in a new country for the first time joining Barcelona getting settled in here and hopefully hopefully we're going to win a league title and go further in the Champions League this season and you know what better team to join than the team that won the Champions League last season in real life and also won their league title as well so that's that's the best team to join really isn't it when you want to get those two aims 
games. You know, you've won domestic cups. Now it's time to, you know, you've got to come to Europe, then have won domestic cups. Now it's time to win a league title and hopefully go all the way in the Champions League as well. And obviously you can't ask for a better side than one that did win the Champions League last season and the league in real life as well. So joining Barcelona and, and really excited for it as well. It's a new challenge and I definitely believe that you guys did pick the right uh, team out of the poll as well because I felt as though we need to join a, a team in a new country, which was kind of easy, obviously, because Manchester United, the club we were previously at, was the only club that were in uh, England that gave me a transfer offer, which was kind of frustrating because I was hoping for another English side to vary up a little bit. But uh, even so, I'm really excited for the challenge here. That's going to be a big one for me, really, trying to uh, get through in this team, you know, play with all these superstars. Not saying Manchester United don't have any either, but one of the big reasons is that we're playing with Messi, and I, I'm really excited for that because I'm going to be playing one of the best players, if not the best player in the world, and that's going to be really, really awesome to see how I compete and also try and fit into this Barcelona side because despite being a CAM, Barcelona play a 4-3-3 uh, and on the game, they don't actually change uh, formation. It, it basically just always is a 4-3-3 going into a new game. You can change formation. The team will change formation during games sometimes, but never uh, right from the start. It's always a 4-3-3. don't know if you guys have noticed that, but a little bit of a flaw which I'd like EA to work on that teams can uh, use different formations. But uh, even so, we did join Barcelona. I changed my appearance a little bit as well. I didn't do that for the second season, really didn't see the point, but decided to do so for the third season. I thought, new country, new team, time for a new haircut, and let's grow a beard as well. <laughs> Doing a lot better job than I can in real life with that. But uh, even so, as you can see right now, during Barcelona, if you're wondering what the transfer fee was, it was £29 million, which... I mean, I feel like I'm a little bit undervalued, like I really do, I thought I would, you know, get a bigger transfer fee than that, to be honest, considering my season last year and considering my age as well, but even so, £29 million, pounds, that's better than uh, better than nothing, I suppose, but uh, still, I'd make my debut in a pre-season friendly, I played all three pre-season friendlies, uh, you would have seen the new boots I put on as well, those Adidas ones look pretty nice, don't they? I'm not really one for uh, football boots, to be honest, but uh, look pretty nice. Uh, still, we do take on Milan, 41st of three pre-season friendlies, you'll see them all in this episode, and you'll see how I get on making my uncompetitive debut as well. First chance did fall to Milan, the second chance fell to Milan as well, but uh, Jordi Massey was equal to it, it was still Barca nil, Milan nil as things stood in the game, but in the 71st minute, it was still goalless in this game, hadn't really done anything yet, then I played a lovely little ball out wide here towards Montoya, plays it through towards De Feo, who's recently joined Everton in real life, and he finesses the ball into the back of the net, courtesy of hitting that uh, post, the far post as well, as it clips it and goes in. And it's Barcelona 1, Milan 0. So De Feo getting the goal, Montoya with the assist, but I got a hockey assist. Uh, obviously, hockey assists don't show up in the stats or anything, but they're still, uh, they're still quite nice to uh, get every now and then. I got a hockey assist for that goal, and uh, that was how the game finished. A 1-0 victory against Milan, and these preseason friendlies, as you can see, are basically just some uh, some action, and any of the goals happen, no real sort of like loads and loads and loads of chances. But of course, as you can see, you know, playing in that 4-3-3, I'm playing in the central midfield position, so I've dropped down, playing for Manchester United, playing for Burnley, I was playing CAM. Now, of course, because of the uh, the way the game works, uh, there's uh, there's no changing of the formation before games, which means that I will have to play in the CM role. And one thing about player career mode, which I don't like anymore, is that you can't actually change your position, which is really annoying because, you know, first and foremost, I should have CM as a secondary position because I played quite a few games there for Manchester United and also a couple for Burnley as well. Uh, so I'd, I'd like the idea of actually being able to uh, get secondary positions in your listed positions for for your player, which is kind of annoying because other players can get them, so I don't know why you can't. But even so, I'd also like, well, you know, they can't get them once they've uh, been, been made into the game, if you will, but, you know, some players start with secondary positions, which I'd like to see as well. But I'd also like the idea to change position as well, like you used to be able to do in play, uh, player career mode. Back in my FIFA 12, my player, the first series I ever ran, I was able to change position, you know, whenever I wanted. You know, there were some games where I played up, uh, sorry, I did start, uh, I did uh, play most of the games up front, that was my position, but I also played in the central midfield sometimes, out on the wing, I believe I played on the wing for Barcelona when I played there. And uh, I also played centre-back for a couple of games. I'd like the option to uh, to, to vary it up again, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, still, a second pre-season friendly was as boring as you could see there. It finished nil nil. That's why I didn't really need to talk about the action. A goal is during our second pre-season friendly. And coming into the third and final one, we took on the German side, FC Cologne, as they came to uh, the Camp Nou, or the new camp, whichever one you use. Uh, so taking on the German side here for the third and final pre-season friendly. But I decided what I'd do before the game was sub myself off at half-time because... 
We had a game against Real Madrid on the uh, on the weekend. This was being played on the Wednesday, and I wanted to make sure my fitness was ready for the first competitive game of the season because I do time myself out quite frequently. And the first opportunity would fall in the 27th minutes. I got taken down and won my team a penalty. Uh, just like uh, hockey assist, if you will, winning penalties don't get shown in the stats, which is kind of frustrating. So I'd like the uh, the option of uh, in-depth stats, like in Football Manager, where you can see where players got fouled and so on. But uh, even so, I got fouled there. There was no debate, uh, no debate about it. Definite penalty. Luis Suarez would stand up and take it for Barcelona, and he would score as well. Chip it, well, not chipping the ball, but putting it straight down the middle as the goalkeeper dives to his left-hand side, and Uruguay makes it Barcelona 1, Cologne 0. Messi didn't start in any of the pre-season friendlies, which I thought was quite surprising, really, but... Hopefully this won't be like my FIFA 12 my player where Messi had to sit on the bench because I was playing in the team. Obviously this time it will be because of Suarez is playing in his position but even so it will be kind of frustrating to know that Messi misses out playing games because of Suarez's form because you know one of the big reasons I went to join Barcelona and I'm glad you guys uh, voted for them in the polls because I could play with Messi but hopefully that won't be a problem but even so it was 1-0 uh, to Barcelona and in the 35th minute I showed exactly why Barcelona wanted to sign me. Myself and Luis Suarez basically ran 2-on-2 two two, us against one defender and the goalkeeper we blew by the defender really easily and it was one. On, well, it was two on the goalkeeper really and instead of going for goal, scoring my first uncompetitive goal for Barcelona I got the assist, I just gave him the ball and said you take the goal mate, score your second of the game because this is what I bring to a team I prefer getting the assist as opposed to the goals and that's exactly what I did there so straight after the goal I decided to request a sub as well sub myself off because my fitness was obviously going to be okay as things stood but I did say I'd sub myself off at half time didn't even wait those nine minutes though sub myself off, got myself a rest and hopefully Hopefully, I should be ready to start my first competitive game of Barcelona in the next one in the Super Cup or Espana first leg against Real Madrid. But that does it in the episode, guys. So, as always, a big thank you for watching the video. Really hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you very much to everyone for voting in the poll. And if you have enjoyed today's episode, then please do leave a like. And I'll see you for the next episode of My Player very soon.